What's up guys, we have an epic gaming mouse in from Myonix. It's all about the craftsmanship, so let's unbox this, take it for a test drive, and find out just how awesome the Myonix caster mouse is. So, if you are a connoisseur of mice, you have probably heard of the legendary Myonix caster. The unboxing experience is pretty stellar with the caster. The caster resides in an elegant box, adorned by the All About the Craftsmanship slogan. Pull off a couple pieces of tape and you are greeted with a beautiful mouse and a congratulations with a signature from the CEO. Included is a quick start guide and a bunch of noteworthy stickers for your PC case, laptop, and or desk. It has a quality 2 meter braided cable and uses a plated gold USB interface so you can tell even at first glance the level of exceptional quality that went into this mouse. At its inception, when designing the shape of the caster itself, the Myonix team handcrafted the shape from scratch with knives and sandpaper until they were ready for 3D printed prototypes. That said, it has a more subtle ergonomic shape, although it doesn't force your hand into any particular grip, making it suitable for different hand sizes and grip types. There's a very pronounced groove where you rest your thumb, and there's also grooves for your pointer and middle finger, and the more subtle grooves are for your index and pinky finger. The exterior shell feels premium, having four layers of rubber coating that make the caster quite comfortable and give it that little bit of extra grip. And it has a textured rubber grip pad under the two easy to use well-placed left side buttons. The textured rubber underneath providing even more grip, so you lift this mouse with great ease and minimal effort. And while on the topic of buttons, left and right click use Omron mechanical switches and have slight grooves so your fingers rest comfortably, but let's go ahead and take a listen. So if you want the capability of rapid fire clicking, the caster definitely delivers with a light activation force of left and right click that bottom out quickly. In my 20 second speed click test, my results for left click were similar to that of the Death Adder Chroma, which is known to have rather light clicks, around 345 clicks per minute or 5.75 clicks a second. This is one of the many selling points being that most like to click with ease and precision. And the scroll wheel scrolls through tactile bumps with ease, which all stays true to the nimble design of the caster. Also, there's no detectable sensor rattle I could hear. Living up to the lofty reputation of exquisite craftsmanship. And you can't help but notice the extra large Teflon top and bottom feet really making this mouse glide like a champion. So more about the design and shape of the mouse, it's a medium sized mouse. The caster has dimensions of 122 by 70 by 40 millimeters and is quite lightweight at just 93.8 grams, excluding the cable and 141.5 grams with the cable, making it an excellent choice for first person shooters. So I think small and medium sized hands will really love this mouse, whether claw gripping, palm, or fingertip grip. And I think that's part of the broad appeal of the caster since it suits so many with its comfortable design and extra swift capabilities. Although for a little larger hand, the Naos from Myonix fills that demand perfectly and will fill your hand more easily with larger dimensions and volume along with its ultra ergonomic shape, that's a palm gripper's dream come true. I have a review on that particular mouse as well on my channel for those of you interested, be sure to check it out. So along with the nimble design of the caster, its sensor is of the best ilk, the 3310 optical, considered near flawless, on up there in class with the 3366 and 3989 sensors. The caster is capable of up to 10,000 DPI and adjustable in increments of 50. Anything past 2200 is just way too sensitive for me personally on a 1080p monitor. The synergy of the ideally placed 3310 sensor in the middle of the mouse with such a maneuverable lightweight design and even 50-50 weight distribution produces a feel of of gaming at say 1700 dpi to feel more like it's on 2000 dpi and this is just a big pro for this mouse since it's so fun to move around rapidly with accuracy now this was just my personal subjective experience with this mouse your experience may differ and as you would expect with a mouse of this caliber the software is in-depth and intuitive including six programmable buttons and five profiles to choose from a polling rate of up to 1000 hertz scroll speed double click speed and the option to enable acceleration dpi adjustment 
adjustments are fine tunable with both X and Y axis adjustable in increments of 50, lift distance adjustments, pointer speed, angle snapping, and also there's an included surface analyzer. With all this customizability, you almost forget that the caster also has RGB lighting, 16 million color options, and the color shift setting is my favorite, setting it to shift through the color spectrum as you get your game on. And you might catch yourself admiring this beauty when you are deep in thought. So when you take this mouse for a test drive, it's so nimble, you will likely want to turn the DPI down a couple hundred lower than you are used to. And a lot of mouse selection comes down to preference once you examine all the objective measurements. First person shooters in particular immediately see big performance gains when using a proper gaming mouse like this one. And playing lots of real-time strategy games through the years from Warcraft 1 through 3 and Starcraft, when you can't afford to misclick and your micromanagement needs to be on point, say commanding three groups of units, issuing commands rapidly to individual units, and epic gaming mouse like the caster can be a real secret weapon. And now casually playing a MOBA game like League of Legends in my free time, the caster enhances the experience with its graceful swift movements and ultra accurate sensor and the comfort to match with the quad layer rubberized coating. All right, everyone, that concludes this unboxing and review of the Myonix Caster mouse from the amazing Swedish company in Myonix. Really hope you like this video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, comment if you have a comment. Let me know what mouse you're currently rocking or what mouse you are looking into getting. And as always, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, Avtech, and let's join in on some more Avtech on a regular basis. This is John from Avtech. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video.